Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Washing Dishes on Shabbat Part 3, dealing with the question of placing dishes in a dishwasher on Shabbat. We discussed in the previous year, Rim, that washing according to the Shulchan Aruch, to wash dishes that you're going to use on Shabbat, dishes, spoons, silverware, cups, that's all fine. Things which you're not sure if you're going to use, so the Shukhar has an assumption that cups are often used again and again, and therefore when you wash them, there's an assumption that this one or that cup may be used on Shabbat, and if you could wash them on Shabbat as opposed to dishes, you have to know, am I going to be using this dish on Shabbat, or no, I'm finished for Shabbat, it will be only for after Shabbat, and therefore I have to leave it. Shemir Shabbat Kehachata, Perik Yudbeta, the new one that was put out, uh, more recently, in the last few years, my former Rabbi Newarth uh, passed away. So he mentions a few leniencies. He mentions one, if you're cleaning them now because you don't want to have bugs in your kitchen, if that's fine. If you clean them because you're afraid the water on the silver will tarnish it, that's fine. Uh, if you're doing it because uh, it's embarrassing, it doesn't look nice on Shabbat, you have guests, and you don't want your house to the kitchen to look that way, that's fine. A uh, fourth reason it brings down is if you're doing it to keep the status quo, meaning right now it's not caked on. And if I leave, it's going to be caked on. It's going to take a long time to clean it after Shabbat, much more than it would be if I have it the way it is now. So I could go ahead and soak it in the water. Because I just want to maintain its status quo and not have all that tirch after Shabbos when it becomes caked on. Those are the four leniencies of the Shemir Shabbat. What about placing the dish in a washer? So you have to, of course, avoid Bore or Moshe finds him as a gross Moshe, Chelek Dalit. Siman Ayin Dalit in the halacha, and the end over there says that you should make sure, you know, so, okay, let me organize all the forks now, I'll organize all the spoons and all the big dishes, small dishes, that could be a borer issue, so you have to watch out for that. And then you can put them in the dishwasher and turn on the dishwasher of the Shabbat. Let's say a person says, no, I, I want to, uh, it's true, I've cleared out the big pieces because that you don't know, put dump the dishes with all the pieces of cholent to potatoes and dump it into the dishwasher. It would be unpleasant on Shabbat for a person to know my dishwasher has all this food in it. So therefore you could take a spoon, a knife, fork, and push all the food off into the garbage and then put it into the dishwasher. But what if a person says, no, I want to rinse my dishes before I put it in the dishwasher. So as a side point, Secular side point, it's interesting, some manufacturers actually say clear the food off and don't rinse before you put it into the dishwasher because the dishwasher now will have computers and they sense how much food is on the plate and the more they sense that there is remnants, there are remnants on the plate, the more it's going to clean the dishes. So you actually Google, you'll see some of the sites say do not rinse off your dishes and the dishwasher will do a better job that way. But let's say you know your dishwasher, and no, if you don't rinse the dishes before you put them in, the dishwasher will not clean it, and you have to do it again. So then, if you put them in on Shabbat without rinsing, then after Shabbat, you're going to have to go ahead and rinse everything. It's a big tircha. You'll say, okay, too bad. So, but maybe you could drive from the Shemir Shabbat. What if we would just want to keep the status quo? Right now it's not caked on, I don't want it to be caked on, but I don't want to just leave it in a bin in my sink. I want to put it away in the dishwasher, I don't want it out. So it's a spur like that to say that I'm just rinsing it to keep it the status quo so it's not stuck on. So I don't take out all my dishes after Shabbat and rinse them again. It's going to be a whole big deal. So it's a good spur, I want a posik to openly say it. So Rav Asha Weiss is baited, his Talmidim have a, a site of question and answers and halachot of Shabbat. And on that site, they actually say just this point, that if you have the type of dishwasher where you need to rinse before you put everything in, if not, it's going to take a long time, you have to re-rinse it. And the cleaning won't come out well. So therefore, when you rinse it on Shabbat, you're just keeping the status quo so it doesn't get caked on. So that way, after Shabbat, you're saving that tircha from yourself. So that site does say that based on the svara of the Shmirat Shabbat. The site actually quotes the Shmirat Shabbat, Perak Yudbet, Halacha Gimel, Halacha Dalid, 
as the source and the reasoning for this idea they can actually rent. So does everyone agree? I'm not sure about that. Each one would have to ask their posik what to do, but there is a svara to say that if you always rinse your dishes, and on Shabbat, if you put them in without rinsing, then after Shabbat is going to be a whole big tircha. You have to take everything out. And right now on Shabbat, I'm just keeping the status quo to avoid that big tircha after Shabbat. There is a svara to say that it would be mutar, and each one should talk to posik, halach what to do, shalom.